Hello traders out there in Traderland, my name's Dez here at Grok Trade and this is the Weekend Edition. This weekend edition is good through Monday, February 18th, 2013, because Monday is President's Day. We have a three-day weekend ahead of us. The markets will be closed on Monday. So let's hit the ground running. First off, interesting video I saw on Yahoo Breakout that a 16-year-old actress turns into a stock day trader. Her name's Rachel Fox, and she's on Desperate Housewives and some other shows and congratulations to her this last year she did over 30 percent if anybody knows her have her get in touch with me or if there's any other individuals out there who are famous I would love to be in touch with you contact me so anyway let's get going here this is going to be a video that you're going to want to share with many many friends because I'm going to give you some very good biased opinions based off of technical analysis of course anyway with that said check this out the S&P daily we're in a rising wedge you can see we have we're at resistance 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 we are pitching here rising wedge if we break down that is a sell signal so be watching that on the weekly chart on the S&P check this out resistance 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 gang if we start to drop sell on the weekly check this out on the monthly here we're popping up no sell signal yet we're still heading higher however if we drop right here that would not surprise me be watching the weekly and the daily let's go back to the daily we're going to go to the the Dow here's the Dow Jones you have this big pop a high base and this high base, if this high base does not break out, but instead breaks down, we're looking to sell and write down the number 13849. If we break below that, that would be a sell signal. And on the weekly chart, check this out. Again, this goes back way, way, way back. Now, you can go to 2003, support. This is a weekly chart, by the way, on the Dow. We come up, support right here, 2008. Also some support that broke down 2008. We follow this up, resistance here 2011. And look where we're at now, resistance here 2013. So with that, if we start to break down, that is a sell signal gang on the weekly chart on the Dow. And if we look here at the monthly chart, big rising wedge. Month isn't over yet but we are slightly above this major area of resistance if it starts to drop and pull back down that is a major sell signal if we go way back here 2002 going into 2003 support support we come up here resistance and we're at this resistance point right now let's go back to the daily and look at the nasdaq a lot of you guys are playing a lot of technology stocks a couple things i want you to see here this thing has been a choppy mess but heading northbound for some time so this is quite bullish however let me show you this red line that we have we have resistance here resistance here resistance all the way but we have a break here now if i make this a line chart you'll see how nice this is resistance resistance support 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 other than this ignore that little jab they're called jabs so we're in this channel between the blue line and the red line if it breaks down below this red line that is a sell signal so we are watching that quite closely and if you go to the weekly chart look at the two green lines heading northbound so this is a nice channel that we're watching we have been making higher highs okay higher swing highs but lower swing highs on the MACD centered oscillator. This is a bearish divergence in this indicator, and that is more bearish than is bullish. What's interesting here is we're having a hard time extending ourselves to hit this upper trend line. We hit it one, two, three, four. I don't see us hitting it a fifth time, so I think it's going to stall and drop early. If it does, now this is a weekly. The weekly, we dogeed out. So let me blow this up. Anytime you go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars in a row, and then you have a doji as a point of indecision. It's kind of like this. See this doji, point of indecision, major crash. Doji right here, major indecision, major crash. Doji right here, point of indecision, 
you get the rest. So we're watching that like a hawk. And we have here um, the monthly. Check this out. In the monthly, we have resistance and resistance. But check this out. If you look at the blue line first, resistance, resistance, this blue line, we hit it. We hit it again. We failed to hit it. Check this out. We failed to hit it again, but we failed more. We should at least hit this line. We couldn't even do that. So it shows a rolling over. This is a relative weakening taking place on the NASDAQ on the monthly chart. So we're at a resistance point right now. If it starts to break down, that is definitely a sell signal. So on the Russell's daily, Russell's daily, we have a big time rising wedge and we can't get off of support. Let me bring in a, a line chart. You can see this. We can we have support, support, and then the red line, support, 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 support. We're breaking down below it right now. That is big time trouble, gang. So I'm saying this could be a bit a, a nice sell signal on the small caps. But look at the weekly here. Let's go back in time. I want you to see this resistance. And this is back here in 2009. Resistance 2009. Support here in 2010. Support here 2011. Resistance here 2011 2012. Resistance now in 2013. So this is a, an opportunity to sell. Gang on a weekly chart. This has gone up. Count this with me. Look one. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna ignore this one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve weeks in a row. Gang, that is very, very extended, way overextended. It needs to pull back. And I'll tell you, if this starts to pull back, that is a sell signal on the monthly chart. Still have some upside potential here. Now, let's take a look at banks. I'm gonna get into gold, I'm gonna get into silver, I'm gonna get into a couple things here. So um pay attention. Check this out on the daily chart. Nice channel up, watching the green areas. But the problem is we're failing to hit the resistance. So we're just slightly going, we are going higher, but we're gravitating more towards the lower support line. And we're at a resistance point. That resistance point, this 2024, if I take you way back into some time here, you'll see this area here 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 and that's right where we're at right now so there's a couple areas i know i need to, i'm trying to make this fast but we have some resistance areas if this thing starts to break down especially gets below this green line that is sell territory on the weekly chart you can see we go way ba way back way back so we have support we come up here major support support now broken that's why you get a significant drop. We come up here, major resistance, big correction after that, resistance correction after that, and that's right where we're at. So it looks like a sell opportunity here, and this is a rising wedge, so you can get in a sell here, and if it breaks down, sell again below. Again, weekly chart. On the monthly chart, uh, we go back here to some areas, resistance, come up, we pop resistance, now resistance is acting as support, support, come over here, we broke that, now it's resistance again, we're at that area of resistance, so if it starts to break down, that is a sell. Let's look at the VIX, the VIX, there's the monthly, let's go to the weekly chart, we're at a support area, if you go back in time, this is gonna, we're going to go way back in time. Support here. See this swing low? If I, go to, if I do a, you can see all these swing lows right here at $10, right here at 12.10 areas. So let's go back. We're almost there at that support area. So if it starts to rally, that will be a sell signal. Because remember, VIX is an inverse indicator for the market. So if it goes higher, that means we are bearish. Here's the daily. We're at a support level already, and we have a doji. So you can see support, support, doji on that support. If it starts to pop, that is a sell signal. Let's take a look at gold. Gold, I'm saying a buy opportunity if and only if we rally going into next week. This could be a little sign of capitulation, huge volume at this low. So be watching that. It's a daily on the weekly. You can see we're within this channel. We have this nice 
channel heading down but if it starts to buy you could actually do probably a purchase now if we start to bounce and more if it breaks out of these resistance points on the weekly and on the monthly we're pulling down 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 but if it starts to rally that will be a hammer and it should rally from there if it does do that silver for those guys who are buying silver right now we're near a major resistance point or support line rather this goes way 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 back you can see we touch this is back here in uh, 2008 then we find support here in 2010 and we move this over a lot of support here in 2012 and we're we're coming up to that support right now so if we get in this area and bounce we're looking to buy silver also and check this out nice bull flag here on silver on the weekly chart I'm seeing there might be an opportunity if it drops a little more do a, a position or a, a smaller token buy when it rallies breaks out of the flag be looking to buy more if you don't know a lot of these terms I'm talking about, just go to FrailineTradingEducation.com and go to the chart school to learn these patterns. You really need to learn those. And oh, let me go to the monthly chart here. Monthly chart, we're in the apex. If I were to pull up a, a line chart, you can see this big line chart. Now we're in bearish territory. We broke below it, but the month has not ended yet. It could easily come right back up and then break out. If it does, we are buying silver big time. When you click on chart school, go down here to chart patterns. When you and there's a ton of patterns here, learn those. Candlestick reversal patterns, learn those. Anyway, if you haven't seen Mark's videos, look at the last three videos that Mark did. He does our stock trading videos. Mark Suffern, watch his last three videos. That's great. Uh, we are full. There's no more room for any of the mentorships in Mexico um, that I'll be doing with Nitza. But click on mentoring and here you do not have to but feel free to fill out the form have a chat with Carolina to find out if you would be a match for our mentorship this coming weekend do yourself the biggest favor you've ever done in your life and quit being victimized out there in the markets let us take care of you let us teach you how to do trading right <music>